What are you doing? Nothing. Wow. Well, that's crazy because it really looked like you were just leafing through my sketchbook here alone in the art room. No, that wasn't happening. Well, what's extra crazy is that it really looked like you were about to tear out a sheet, like maybe you are going to take a piece of my art for yourself. But I guess I didn't see that. I just saw nothing. Is that right? Damn, you look nervous. Why don't you sit down with me? Let's hang out for a bit. Wait, you have to go? Right now. In the middle of this tense interaction. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, if you'll allow me, you've got a tough choice to make right now, and you gotta be smart and you gotta think quick. On one hand, you can look me in the eye and tell me, yeah, you know, I was trying to steal your art. That's how much I like it. And, oh, I don't know, I think I might take that as a compliment. If I made art that was good enough to inspire somebody to commit a crime, that's kind of high praise. Or, on the other hand, you can deny everything and run out of here. And maybe I'll let it go, or maybe I would be so pissed off that I would retaliate by writing an email to the professor and telling her exactly what you did. And I'm not sure, but that could possibly get you kicked out of class. And who knows what that would do to your semester. So, again, kind of a toss-up, but you're going to have to roll the dice here, so what's it going to be? Ooh, strong eye contact. I like that. You got something to say? You were? You're trying to steal my art? Well, goddamn. I didn't think you had it in you. I kind of feel like we're friends now. Here, sit down with me. Let's talk. Come on, sit down. I can still turn on you. You don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah, there we go. So... You like my work. Cool. Go ahead, open it. Come on, open my sketchbook. I mean, you just helped yourself a minute ago. Why are you getting shy now? Open it. There you go. What do you see? Yeah, it's a flamingo. Does that surprise you? Why? Just because I wear all black and I'm tatted up? You think that means that I only draw ravens and thorns and maybe a severed hand? Come on, next page. What do you see? Yeah, it's a baby cow. Isn't she cute? Next page. All right, what do you see? Yeah, it's a severed hand. Sometimes you can judge a book by its cover, a little bit. What about you? What's it like up in here? This cute little head of yours. Oh, come on, you know exactly what I mean. I mean, what's it like? Is it loud or is it quiet? Is it colorful or is everything silver and gray? Is it big and open and airy? Or is it a tiny, intimate little void? You don't know how to describe it. You can't think of one little word. You ever draw self-portraits? Yeah. When you do, are they beautiful? You don't know. Let me ask you this. When you look in the mirror, do you do that thing where you kind of tilt your head to one side or the other? Or look up through your eyebrows? Or look over your shoulder? Or pull your hair back or push it down? Do you do all that? No. What do you do? You just stare? Uh, I'm starting to think we might actually become friends. Take off your clothes. Come on, do it. Strip down your underwear. I'm going to draw you. What? Why do you look so alarmed? In art class, every week we do figure drawing, right? We have a model come stand at the center of the room we draw them? Well, today you're the model. Good God, are you going to wear that deer in the headlights look on your face the whole time I'm drawing you? Well, you should never play poker, I'll tell you that much. 
Look, if you're really that scared, I'll go first. Okay? Here, let me just take off my shirt. Um, I'm going to take off my necklace too. Can you unclasp this little chain in the back for me? Good. Thank you. Here, just put it on the desk. Okay. I'm going to lace my fingers on top of my head like this. Just put my arms up. And put my feet up on the desk right beside you. And just lean back in my chair and look at you. Now, go ahead and take my sketchbook. It's okay. Just flip to a blank page. And take that little charcoal pencil. Good. Draw me. Do it. It's funny. People think that having someone draw you is vulnerable. Like what I'm doing right now. Just sitting here with no shirt on. While you look me up and down. But I really disagree. I think you are in a much more vulnerable position than I am right now. You know why? Because I get to watch you watching me. I get to see what parts of me you're fascinated by. What my most interesting features are to you. If you make eye contact with me for a moment and then quickly look away. Or if you seem to be paying special attention to my hands or this collarbone right here, the way it catches the light, or if there are other parts of me that you are conspicuously looking at or not looking at, you know, you're like an open book to me right now. Isn't that strange? I hope the irony isn't lost on you too that, um, you came in here to steal one of my drawings, and now I'm going to get to go home with one of yours. How's it going there, anyway? Almost done? Good. Just make it quick. Doesn't need to be that elaborate. I just want to see how you see me. I feel like I already know, but, um... The drawing's definitely going to be the nail in the coffin. <laughs> okay, good. Come on, wrap it up. Now let me see. Oh. I feel like looking at this drawing, I can see you, um, maybe fighting with yourself a little bit. The tension between the things you see and the things you don't. The things that you're excited about and the things you're scared of. Oh, I would pay money to see your self-portraits. Like, Five dollars, specifically. Anyway, that's it for me. Now it's your turn. So, take this stuff off. You can keep your underclothes on, I just need to be able to see your shape. Go on, do it. Look, I'm sitting here completely topless, you can at least meet me halfway. There you go. And these. Come on, I know you're wearing some little shorts underneath there. Alright, good. You know what? You don't even need to go to the middle of the room. I don't need you up on that platform. Just sit right here. Pose for me. Go ahead, do something, like, pose. Damn, I didn't say become a wooden statue. Look at you. <laughs> Why are you so tense? Do you really not know how to pose? Do you need me to show you? Get down on your knees. Come on, right here on the floor. Yeah, sitting on your heels. And then spread your knees apart a little bit. And put one hand down between them, palm flat on the floor. Now put the other one on top of it. Yeah, like that. And look up at me. Keep your head tilted down. But just look up at me with your eyes. Now, when you make eye contact with me, I want you to think about showing me something that you think that I want to see. Alright, that's almost it. But I feel like you're holding something back still. 
if you keep one particle of embarrassment or hesitation inside you, this thing is just going to get worse and worse and worse until you can't take it. You know what I'm saying? So, close your eyes. Go ahead, do it. Now, you are doing this thing. You're on the floor in front of me, in your underclothes. So there's no point in holding anything back. So when I say go, I want you to open your eyes and look at me completely shameless. You understand? Go. That is better. Okay. Let me try to draw you. You just stay like that. And I'm just going to do some quick little sketching here. I think the trick to the shame thing is realizing that you're going to be destroyed either way. And just going for what's fun. Now, I've got your contours. That little ridge on your shoulders, whatever that's called. The little pool of light beneath your collarbone. And so on and so on. At some point, I want to look at you from behind and see if you get that little dimple in your back. But right now, I just need to try to get those eyes. How am I going to put those eyes on paper? I don't know about that. Maybe I should just... All right, close your eyes again. There's nothing wrong, you've been great. I just need to get down here. And get very close and see exactly what's going on here. The contour of your cheekbone and the ever so slight dip of your temple and the sweet little point of your chin. Sorry, I just need to look. I need to look very close. What? Oh, no. Not because I think I can draw it. I'm doing it because I can't. And I really want to remember later. Keep your eyes closed. I just want to sit back here behind you. I'm just going to kneel right here. No, here, sit up straight. Let me take your hands. And... Move them here, behind your back, and hold them. Now I'm just going to put a hand on each shoulder, and I want you to just roll your shoulders back like this, and arch your back a little bit. Good. How long do you think you could stay like this? Do you like it when I move you around like that? Pose you? Like a doll. Good. I like it too. So let me put you in a different pose now. And this one's going to be more intense. 